Today is March 1st, 2020, and we want to give you an update on what is happening in Tokyo in the middle of the coronavirus. We are reporting from our location, which is Godanda Shinagawa, Tokyo. The streets are pretty quiet. We noticed that around 60 to 70 percent of the people in this area are wearing masks. Some of the public areas, such as the pool, is closed until March 31st. This elementary school is also closed until the end of March. Disneyland, Universal Studios, and some other theme parks are also closed temporarily until further notice. You'll usually be able to find some sort of disinfectant where you can use freely before you enter the supermarket, drugstores, or other public places. Let's check out the situation in this supermarket. There are still plenty of drinks. Not so lucky for paper items. The notice here says one paper item per person, including paper towels, toilet paper, Paper, tissues, as you can see, 90% of the paper items are gone, even dog diapers, there are two left. There are still some tissues, but most are gone in this particular supermarket. My friend was texting us to see if the rumor is true that all the sanitary napkins are gone, which was actually the case in Hong Kong three weeks ago in a particular supermarket. But here, you can still find plenty of sanitary napkins, so don't worry, ladies. Still plenty of eggs. We do notice that a lot of the instant noodles, pasta, and rice were sold. You can still find some rice, I'd say about 20% left, which is better than the situation in Hong Kong three weeks ago. 100% of the white rice was gone. But the rice situation in Hong Kong is certainly much better. We will do an update in a few days. Cereal, around 80% still remains. For the frozen items, we noticed that more people bought them than usual. As of today, there are 246 cases of coronavirus in Japan. If you break it down in prefectures, the most cases are in Hokkaido with 54, second is Tokyo with 36, Aichi 27, Wakayama with 13, Chiba with 11, and then there are around 1 to 5 cases in the other prefectures. So aside from the paper items and also the pasta instant noodle, everything else seems to be about the same in this particular supermarket. Because a lot of schools are closing early, another problem arises for moms. Since a lot of moms in Tokyo work, that means when the school closes, the kids will be left home alone. There are not a lot of daycare centers in Japan. Anyway, this problem is being discussed and solved as we're speaking. Let's check out another drugstore. They usually have a lot of tissue items on the outside. As you can see here, all the tissue items are gone. 100% of the paper products are gone. Thermometers are selling better than usual, but still some stock left. So most of the instant noodles are gone, but still there are some left in this particular drugstore. There are plenty of sanitary napkins in this drugstore. So much that it'll last you years if you buy them all. This supermarket usually has a lot of tissues outside, but today it's just fruit. Let's check out the drugstore next to it. All and most of the paper items are gone. 98%. As for the sanitary napkins, they are selling pretty well here. I'd say 40% gone. So here the limitation is two items per person. As for masks, they were sold out a long time ago, but sometimes if you're lucky, you may be able to find some in a particular supermarket or drugstore. You may also be able to buy masks if you wait in line before a drugstore opens, but they may not have it every day, so you just have to try your luck. You can still buy some disinfectant here. Let's check out another drugstore. The paper items are gone. In summary, most of the supermarkets and drugstores have sold out their paper items. Around 70% of the pasta, instant noodles, and rice. 
frozen items or anything that can last for a longer period of time are sold more than usual. You can still find some disinfectants. So aside from these items that are sold out quickly, everything else seems to be the same and the price is also the same. As for the 7-Elevens and convenience stores, they're basically the same. So far, the atmosphere in Tokyo is one of caution rather than panic. Although there was an incident a few days ago where people were lining up to buy masks at a drugstore. A mainland Chinese lady cut the queue and then a Filipino lady beat her up. Eventually, the bystanders stopped the fight. Well, in this incident, both parties involved were foreigners. So instead of fighting for a mask, we suggest that you buy a cloth mask or make one if you're good at sewing. We bought this mask for 450 yen, around four US dollars, including shipping. This one is handmade and it's pretty thick. It's got double cloth. The maker is so sweet. She also wrote the instruction on how to use it properly. You can wash the mask and recycle them as many times as you want. So buy a few of these and you'll never have to use another paper mask or get into a fight about mask again. The rest of the video is more supermarket and drugstore footage if you're interested. In the meantime, stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands often, protect yourself so you can protect others. This is an impermanent situation and we're all going to get through it together.